Hello. I've had some questions asking about the performance now that I've had Windows 7 installed and a couple of uh, correspondence back and forth. I am running a 1 gig module uh, stock from the factory and um, I've installed the chipset drivers and the video drivers. Uh, haven't done the sound drivers yet, but uh, haven't found a need to as of uh, quite yet anyway. Uh, so I'm going to show you a, a simple boot screen logging into Hulu starting up a few videos providing my internet doesn't conk out on me and um, just to give you a little performance boost or performance test I guess you'd say okay from a cold boot we are going to go into Firefox go into Hulu close Hulu after looking at a short clip and then open up a game that pushes the system well beyond its means um, just to show you what it can do. Uh, the game is going to be Second Life, <clears throat> which is why I bought this little thing, was to just have a backup system when uh, the big computer on the other side of the room decided to go fritzy. Please forgive me from getting my hands in the way. Okay, we're booted. I don't want Internet Explorer. I want Firefox. And we'll just pick one of these guys. That'll work. My battery light's hitting the very low mark for the camera. Relatively smooth operation. There is the occasional little frame skip, but it's not too noticeable. My big system on the other side of the room has a tendency to do the same thing. Okay, now in an effort to try to beat the battery on my camera, we'll go into Second Life. Now don't expect anything too extravagant with this. This, is, will, this will be running on the lowest settings. Second Life is not a very well-tuned um, game engine. Uh, being the fact that it has user created content which of course does not always put into best play of uh, game practices okay log in
And the gray simply means it hasn't downloaded the uh, graphics for the area yet. And knowing my internet connection, this could take a little while before everything resolves in properly. Oops, looks like I just walked off into somewhere. Oh, there we go. I must have crossed the sim border. I wonder if I ever set the speed for the network for this install. Looks like I haven't, so crank that up. And hopefully that was the OK button. <laughs> And as you can see, the frame rate is clearly not the best, but it is most definitely usable. This does much better on uh, actual game engines like, uh, well, Doom 3, uh, Quake, Crisis, stuff like that. Things where the environment is self-contained uses DirectX. Uh, Second Life uses OpenGL, and um, the Intel chipset does support OpenGL. I think it's like 1.5 or 1.0. So we don't get all the flashy stuff. I don't think it re could really handle it if it did put too much in the way of flashy in here. But like I said, definitely usable, if not the fastest.